classic portal for getting uh, creating or uh, for creating an active directory or managing it okay so this is how it works now uh, when we talk about resource manager and we create anything so let's create any any resource or any service like a virtual machine okay uh, it's going to ask us to create a resource group because that's a must to have so for virtual machines i showed you that we have different uh, 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 images available extensions available so in order to create a virtual machine i need to select which image i want to use for creating the virtual machine so here the things look more uh, much good because we have whole lot of images available so if you look at from the starting we have all these windows server red hat virtual machine scale set what's new so we are adding everything uh, we are adding now and then new services new images like mongodb uh, f5 fortinet templates okay so there are templates we'll talk about templates in detail we have a good uh, uh, slide deck on templates at, uh, as such so we'll talk about what is templates and uh, you know, how templates can help but and there are images which are azure certified right uh, like dynamics ax ibm veeam uh, we have database servers application infrastructure security so for security we have all these things right so if we start creating a vm let's take windows server okay and we choose the image that we want i was talking about windows 2016 available so this is where we can see windows server 2016 core okay with containers available is available right now so we can deploy that uh, and we have these as well so let's take this one 2012 r2 and when we create a vm it's going to ask us uh, whether we want a classic mode or a resource manager mode so we'll select a resource manager because if we select a classic mode here it's going to create a vm definitely but in a classic way not in a resource manager way and what does the resource manager uh, model mean is a diagram which i showed you uh, vm nrp srp and crp that is how a resource manager architecture looks like so i'll create a vm in a resource manager way and uh, provide the basic configuration choose the virtual machine size and all those things uh, so here i'll choose the existing resource group i'll give a name test vm vm disk so we talked about premium storage okay so ssd because premium storage is based on ssd drives and that's why it has got a good performance and uh, all those things added so if you choose ssd it's gonna ask you uh, at the time of creating a storage account which type of premium storage we want to create okay so we will be selecting hard disk here which is a normal standard storage give a name and a password to the vm and choose the resource group so we can create a resource group here okay so what is a resource group again this is a resource group which we can associate with different resources now i do have resource resource groups created but i can create a new resource group test rg okay now what will happen is my vm which i'm creating will be linked to this resource group okay and whatever i create after this i can use the same resource group to make that resource a part of this resource group okay so we can do this or we can use the existing resource groups that i have already created okay so let's create a new resource group okay test rg uh, okay test r uh, test rg hyphen uh demo i'll use this name and the location where i want to create my resource so let's take a uh, 
let's take an example of uh, Canada East okay and select a size uh, I'm, I will not be deploying this VM but I want to take you to the page where uh, it's gonna ask me to create the extensions or add the extensions so on this page uh, the difference that you can see uh, which is a good difference basically uh, when selecting the size of a VM <clears throat> in the classic portal uh, we didn't had an option to see the cost of that particular uh, size that we are selecting we can only see the size and that's it in the resource manager portal while creating a virtual machine and selecting the size we can see the estimated cost per month for that virtual machine together with all other configurations so if you remember uh, while creating a VM in the classic portal we can only see the disk RAM and CPU the three things uh, which uh, a size can have a, v, uh, a typical size can have but in case of a resource manager we can see a lot more things like how much are the maximum IOPS uh, uh, maximum IOPS associated with the VM uh, local SSD disk uh, whether this VM is capable of load balancing or not whether we can have an auto scaling or not and the most important is how many data disks can be associated with a virtual machine because that was a very big ask that while creating a VM okay so in a classic mode when we were when we used to create a VM okay and uh, we just selected a size depending on uh, okay this is the RAM and this is the CPU we want we never looked at the data disks data disks are the additional drives actually uh, how many data drives are there now because of that what happened was once the VM was created and uh, we came to know that there are uh, we cannot have additional disks associated uh, to the VM we have to create the data disks or we have to uh, delete a VM create a new uh, VM out of that VHT with a bigger size because that was a big task to do but here we can see that these are the number of data disks which can be associated with the VM so we are sure we are uh, sure while creating a VM that at least we can have four data disks okay and we can choose now only that okay this is the size I want to go with okay because I want these many disks to be attached or this many uh, I want this big storage to be there in my VM so accordingly I can select it and I can see the cost per month uh, don't worry this is the cost in INR not in USD so uh, because I have selected an INR uh, currency for my portal so you can choose any size right now okay so uh, let's take any size of a1 okay which has two data disks I'll select it and the third step is configuring the storage configuring the network and extensions so we can create a network we can create a public IP so as I said everything here is a granular we are getting a granular granular level of control on all the resources how because we are getting a control on the public IP okay that that we want to create NSG which is a firewall uh, su uh, subnet storage account okay so we can specifically uh, create it now or use a default one if we use a default one we can change it later as well now when we talk about extensions okay what are the extensions available to us to add into that virtual machine a good list here so chef puppet powershell dsc uh, microsoft anti malware we have acronix backup so 
if we have an Acronis software currently in the environment and we want the same agent to be there in the VM that we are deploying, we can use this one. Uh, for monitoring, we can use the agent. Okay, for custom script, if we want to add a custom script to this virtual machine, we can do use this. Trend micro anti uh, anti uh, viruses there. So all these are the uh, extensions that are available to us to get deployed in a VM while it is getting created. So we do not have to manually put in any extension. Okay, we can choose and uh, this will be deployed in a VM. Okay. So we can choose it and we can enable the monitoring of this VM so that we can see the audit logs, we can trace the things and the diagnostic information because the monitoring uh, is enabled on this VM so the logs for the monitoring will be stored in the storage account. So in case you want to fetch those logs you can access the storage account and fetch the logs. So that option is also there which was not there in the classic portal okay so if you see portal wise advancements there are lot of advancements uh, there were lot of restrictions in the classic portal which we were not able to do uh, in, the, in the classic mode but in the resource manager portal all these things are enabled and once you create a VM it will uh, you can log into that VM and start using those things. So, if you now look at the resource group, all resources, okay. So, you'll see all the resources like this, okay. Now, we cannot see what is a resource group and what is not. So, we'll go to resource group which is this one and we can see what all resource groups we have and inside a resource group what are the resources linked with that resource group so if I want to delete a resource group I can delete a resource group and whatever is inside that resource group is gonna go away so I created a resource group named test uh, RG which was uh, in a different uh, because I didn't let it uh, complete so let's take this resource group okay and the only resource associated with this resource group is test net so what will happen if I delete this resource group this is gonna delete this network automatically so I don't have to specifically go into this network and delete it I'll delete this and with along with the resource group a network will be deleted okay so that is how we control the things we'll talk about uh, these settings which we are able to see right now on this page uh, once we uh, come to that module so coming back to the deck uh, 